get ready 10 seconds 5 seconds start sir a time has come when we should consider and revise our attitudes towards the problem of agriculture and agricultural development if agriculture does not develop our country cannot make any progress and we can neither become an agricultural power in the world nor we can become an industrial power sir there are large potentials in our country to become an agricultural power in the world and we cannot only meet our own requirements but we can also be one of the major exporting countries in asia for this purpose it is necessary for recasting the priorities and also for a proper allocation in budget sir only rupees 200 crores was budgeted for rural employment it is a very small figure and it cannot even give employment to a few thousands in the rural side the allotment for irrigation and other purposes is also not sufficient but sir in order to give proper emphasis to the department in my opinion it is necessary to have a separate budget for the agriculture ministry as we are having for the railways i do not know why a separate budget has been provided for the railways although traditionally this system is being followed but for agriculture on which 70 to 80 percent of our population depends and which is the major stay of our economy there is no separate budget it should be given the pride of place and we should have a separate budget for agriculture similarly there is no reason why the department of cooperation should be tagged on to the agriculture ministry the report itself says that it is a very important aspect of our making progress in every department of life be it industry cooperative marketing or any other sphere the report says that the cooperative movement in the country has been considerably expanded during the last about 55 years that the activities of the cooperatives now cover different sections of the economy more especially agricultural credit marketing processing storage and distribution of agricultural inputs and also consumer goods in rural areas it goes on to say that the value of operation of all types of cooperatives is estimated to exceed it to page 160 crores involving over million members but sir the report says that the managing committee of large number of cooperative societies in the states were superseded by the government sir it is necessary to have a separate ministry for cooperation if we really want that this cooperative movement is to become successful i therefore suggest through you sir that the government should seriously consider having a separate ministry 
फॉर कॉपरेशन सर कॉपरेटिव मूवमेंट इज स्प्रेडिंग ऑल ओवर इंसिडेंटली आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट इवन द वर्कर्स कोऑपरेटिव इन द न्यूज पेपर इंडस्ट्री आर गिवेन आर आ डील इन माई प्लेस देयर इज वर्कर्स कोऑपरेटिव रनिंग अ न्यूज पेपर बट इवन दे आर नॉट गेटिंग ऑल द फैसिलिटीज देयर फोर इफ वी रियली वॉन्ट टू रीच द कमांडिंग हाइट्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विच इज आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इट इज नेसेसरी दैट द वर्कर्स कोऑपरेटिव आर प्रमोटेड एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज माई सजेशन इज दैट देयर शुड बी आ सेपरेट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कोऑपरेशन देन सर दिस रिपोर्ट कंटेन्स अ कैटलॉग ऑफ इवेंट्स द रिपोर्ट सेज दैट इन नाइनटीन द मेजर काज ऑफ सीवियर सेट बैक टू एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन वाज अनप्रेसिडेंटेड ड्राउट इन 1995 एंड 96 एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू हाउ वी हैव मेड प्रोग्रेस इन 1996 एंड 97 इट सेज बिकॉज द वेदर वाज कंपेरेटिवली फेयर एंड देयर वाज नो ड्राउट to that extent what is the achievement we have made therefore the whole report is very disappointing it does not disclose what all the radical changes have taken place or what steps have been taken to improve agriculture with expedition and from point of view if you really examine this report you will find that the government has not taken major steps about land reforms about rural employment or the integrated rural development program for that purpose a separate department was constituted for rural reconstruction and the ministry in this report admits that benefits of investment on agriculture have not reached poorer sections of rural population the report begins like this it was felt therefore that exclusive special programs for the exclusive benefit of poorer sections of rural population are required if the objective of distributive justice was to be achieved and then after giving the number of agencies which are working the report has not revealed what rural employment was given in the year 1995 and 96 i would like to know from the minister in view of investment and so many programs of integrated rural development going on what was the increase in rural employment in the year of 1995 and 96 the report itself is astonishing in another aspect it says that land reforms are being implemented but the land reforms implementation paragraph in the report is interesting it is only the lips lip sympathy which has been shown by the government stop